Before the 2019 World Championships, Meza Hasona, the two-time junior world champion, world's bronze medalist and holder of the 96 kilo junior world record clean and jerk at 225, had told me that he had been really focusing on the snatch in training in preparation for this competition, in part due to his already world-class clean and jerk. He knew that he was leaving easy kilos on the table with the snatch and so had been putting in extra focus into that lift. Despite having already a sensational 225 kilo clean and jerk to his name, his competition snatch PR of 174 kilos, while still an impressive lift, was not quite where it needed to be, sitting at about 77% of his clean and jerk, which was around 5% lower than where he felt it should be. As you can see, Mezzo is also warming up in the strict press as well as the back squat. I don't think this is a particularly important lift for him, but it's always just interesting, I think, to see what the top weightlifters are able to do in some of these other accessory strength kind of lifts. Mezzo, what do you strict press? Oh, I'm a bit, uh, 115. 115? Yeah. 120 today. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I can get You look it. strong. You look strong. Strider. Yeah. About a month ago, I recorded an interview with Mezzo on the Weightlifting House podcast where he spoke about putting in a lot of extra upper body training into his daily routine because he felt he was particularly weak in his arms and shoulders. And so that's why I asked him about what his best strict press was at this point because in the interview he'd said that he'd gone from not being able to do even three pull-ups to doing sets of 12 with 20 kilos added uh, as extra weight and he'd managed to take his strict press up from 80 kilos to 110 kilos and it even managed to push press 160 kilos. And so you can see here in this clip that he has improved his strict press even since the recording of that interview from last year. I'll link the full hour long interview uh, if any of you want to check it out down below. This training session was going to be the heaviest training session we would see from him in the back squat and the snatch before the World Championships. So I made sure to be there and, and film everything to see if there were any notable improvements in the snatch. Despite each country being given only one two hour slot in the training hall each day, Mezzo came in twice every single day in the build up to this competition. And this is kind of how he would do things. He would squat every single morning and then he would do one of the lifts along with some pulls in the evening. And he would always pair it as back squats in the AM with snatches in the PM, followed by on the next day front squats in the AM with clean and jerks in the PM. And so I'll post his, his max front squat and clean and jerk session that he did alongside Ilya Ilin in a few weeks time so you guys can see that one too. Heading into this session, Mezzo's personal best in the back squat was 300 kilos, a weight that he'd hit with some speed just a few weeks prior to this session. Yeah. He's going to go up to 300, I think. One of the interesting things with Mezzo is that he basically just trains on his own with his family. His dad was a really successful weightlifter who totaled 400 kilos. And in fact, I, I remember in the interview I did with Mezzo, he'd said that his dad had promised him a new car if he was going to be able to total 400 kilos or more to beat his old record. So I was, I was pretty excited actually when I saw that Mezzo had actually ended up totaling 402 kilos because I knew that more than just the medal and, and the pride and excitement of him having won a world silver medal, he had also won with that a new car. And I, I think I actually remember he said to me he wanted to get a G-Wagon, which I thought was pretty funny. And he, he laughed about that when he told me as well. 
And as you can probably see here, actually, it became very clear that Mezzo working up to a max attempt in the bat score was becoming somewhat of a spectacle. We had the German team watching, the Italian team. Just behind him, you can see some of the Australian team also. It's really not every day that you get a 96 kilo, 21 year old, you know, working up to 300 plus kilos in the bat squad. One of the great things about Mezzo, as you can see in this video of him trying to flip the bottle over, is just how much fun he has when he trains, even if it is right before a PR attempt in the bat squat. Yeah, he comes in with his boys and with his dad, he puts on his music out loud in the training hall, and just clearly loves what he does. He really is one of the few truly world-class weightlifters out there who will still have a laugh and a joke with you, and he'll even tell you, you know, who it is that he wants to beat, and he's just completely transparent with his training numbers and all of his goals. He definitely is one of my favorite athletes to spend time with. But the, uh, the 305 was not to be on this day. Also, it's worth bearing in mind as you watch this that Mezzo trained two times the day before this training session as well, so it's not like he was particularly well rested. After this, and just to stay fit, as, as he said to me, he just drops down to 120 kilos and he did a few sets of slightly higher reps just to keep his quads, you know, working a little bit harder. Okay, so this is now the PM session, and the reason I have only started filming once he's made it to 150 kilos is because this is actually the same training session as Lash's all-time heaviest training hall total that I put up a couple of weeks ago where he did the 210, 255. So I made it a priority to, to film Lasher before moving over to Mezzo's training session. Now Mezzo's best training snatch at this point was 182 kilos, which he hit just two weeks earlier whilst training alongside Ilya Ilin in Kazakhstan. And that's just four kilos under Sarab Muradi's 186 kilo world record. And it's also a weight that would have actually won the gold for the snatch this year. And although he didn't end up taking the gold in the snatch like he had planned, he did come very close with a 181 kilo lift. Over for the time. And so what I've done is I actually have more training footage of Mezzo that I won't end up putting on YouTube. Him back squatting, him snatching and doing heavy dips and that sort of thing. So if you want to check those out, just head over to the Weightlifting House Patreon. I'll put a link down below and you can see the extra behind the scenes Mezzo Hasona training hall footage. Well that looks pretty good. Pretty damn good. Now that was the first of what would turn out to be three attempts at 170 kilos in the snatch, which I was incredibly excited about. In fact, I remembered thinking to myself whilst watching this session that I just hoped he would stop because I couldn't bear the idea that he would hit this weight comfortably time after time and then miss it and you know have to leave knowing that he had been unsuccessful at one of these weights. So every single time that he stepped up to it, my heart was kind of in my mouth. As you can see, he looks pretty good. And guys, I'm sure some of you have noticed, Mezzo's wearing these nice virus international tights. So uh, if you want to grab a pair, you can use actually discount code Weightlifting House. It's all one word, all lowercase. I'll put a link down below uh, if you want to look like the man himself. Now, although he did miss that lift on his third attempt, four days later in competition he would hit 178 kilos, a four kilo competition PR for him, 
taking fourth in that lift, just a kilo behind Jonathan Rivas from Colombia, two kilos behind Tian Tao, and three kilos behind the gold medalist in that lift, Anton Pliersnoy from Georgia. And to finish off with just a few slightly heavier pulls, just to overload and feel what it might be like to attempt some world record weights in the coming years. And then I just had to include this part again, just to show you the humorous nature and just the fun that Mezzosona has in the training hall. Here he is just eating a chocolate bar and messing about with me and the camera, trying to take off his, his knee wraps. I just thought it was such a funny moment. That's how you unroll your knee sleeves, knee wraps. I, I couldn't not include this into in the video because I wanted you guys to see what he's like outside of just being a weightlifter, just the type of guy he is, and hopefully help increase the support for Mezzo.